25 to 28 degrees, so pretty hot. And we're just waiting for our shuttle bus to take us to our motel. So you reckon with the Daytree River cruise that you see a lot of crocodiles or not? Not too many. Uh, when I did it, I saw like 50 to 20. Oh, you do see yeah. them? Yeah. Oh, awesome. You can't feed them, eh? No, not really. Yeah. If you want to do that, um, Hartley's Crocodile Farm. Oh, okay. You can go there, it's just like captivated. Are there any crocodile trainers? Trainers, yeah. I don't know. No? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> we are exploring the streets of Cairns. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, it is currently midday and we are out looking for some tucker. Most likely we'll end up getting fish and chips, but we shall see. We are in our swimmers, but you know what? It's normal. It's normal here. Pretty much everybody is in their swimmers. So, it should be a good time. Taking a photo of me? So, I can't actually film when I am water rafting, but we are all ready. And the place that we are at is absolutely beautiful, but I'll have to stop filming because obviously I have to put all my valuables away. Are you going to be in this? I'm no, it's bit. me. Um, but if you want to be in it, by all means. <laughs> so we just finished water rafting, and how did, how did you like water rafting? Not bad, actually, pretty cool. Yeah, we. Don't keep me in the <laughs> A few of us almost drowned, and now we're heading back to the resort. <laughs> I kind of regret not going to the Tully River for obvious reasons. Hashtag Game of Thrones, but it was still really good. It was about level one to three, which is pretty intermediate. Um, it was really fun. We spent about an hour and a half there. I met some cool people. This one chick left her job, 25, she's been traveling for three years. Pretty interesting talking to her. And yeah, now I'm just chilling, I'm waiting for my friend. Is her text message, I'll go open the door for her. So we're actually just contemplating what we should do on our last day because we're not going quad biking in Karanda anymore because that was completely booked out and then the dude booked us in for a quad biking session outside of Karanda, which is kind of pointless because the whole point of visiting Cairns is seeing the places that are only in Cairns. So anyway, that's a completely different tangent. We are contemplating bungee jumping or visiting Green Island. So it says Green Island was first chartered by Captain James Cook in 1770, but named not because of its lush, lush rainforest, but after the astronomer on board the HMS Endeavour, Charles Green. There's some historical um, background to it, which is cool, and it's really pretty as well. We need to do it in New Zealand. Okay, we'll do it in New Zealand then. I think we're going to this place then, which is fine. But let's have a look outside as well because there's other ones there. I just picked up three that I could find at well, that moment. Well, this place is really beautiful. I mean, I don't mind it. Yeah, we'll hold on to it anyway and we'll go check out the other ones. Okay. So, <laughs> we're yet to decide. Yet to decide, but first there's we're dinner. We're going to go to figure out food. So, we are heading out to the Great Barrier Reef. I'm not sure if you can really hear me because I'm quite close to the propellers. I'm so excited to see the little fishies and some turtles and apparently it's not stingray season so we don't have to wear a wetsuit but it is humpback whale season so hopefully we get to see some humpback whales. I hope I don't get motion sickness. This is what it's looking like. That's why I want to do it by there. It's so much more than that. That's why I'm going We've still got at least two more hours of this. But I'm not complaining because I'm loving the views.
got back into the boat after 10 minutes, but the second time around I got to do it and it was really fun. The snorkeling was really good too, we've got a lot of snaps and a lot of, a lot of footage from there as well which was awesome. Um, and now we're heading back home. It's He's a little baby, but you know, he looks really tired as well. Look at him. What's his name? Chom. Chom. Okay. So a pretty crazy night. We just got back. Um, it is like 12. Actually, we, we got back a little while ago because we got ready for bed. The Cairns nightlife, it's all right. PJ's was really good. Um, wool shed wasn't that great, but then again, we left pretty early um, into the night. And it was like really, it was like tweeny boppers and like people really just trying to hit on you. We were going to go to Gilligan's, was it, which was apparently worse, but we didn't end up going. And Check out the view. So we are currently at Cape Tribulation, have a look. And apparently this is where a lot of crocodiles are, so we're not actually allowed to swim. Uh, the tour guide was telling us about a horror story where a lady actually died in this place two months ago because she was drunk and she was swimming, so nobody is swimming at all because nobody's trying to die. Apparently every hole that I see is a crab living and here are the mangroves. So this dude over here, I don't know if you can see him, found a coconut and this is actually my first time eating a coconut. So the guys in the cars were off them blocked their view off. But yeah, that's dad and that's yeah, it definitely wasn't him this morning. I was, I was looking for him with the that's why I was looking for the chick this morning. And yeah, that's a teenage cassowary. It won't be too long till Dad gives him the boot. They start off, they call them little stripies. And I'm kind of blocking the road here, guys. I'm going to have to keep going, eh? Hey? I'll take it nice and steady. I'll go down a little bit further and the guys at the back of the bus can have a, have a quick look. But quick photo as I go past. Legally, I'm not actually even allowed to stop, which is madness. Wow. I'll pull up here just for a minute or so, gang. <laughs> Three casseries. That was definitely a different cat. Get me some Dane Tree Rainforest ice cream. Here we are. We're getting ready for the ferry because we are on our way to Crocodile River. Should be fun. Good. 
very timid. <laughs> Now you're probably looking at it and you're thinking, it looks lazy. Well there is one word that best describes these crocodiles, and that is efficient. They are one of the most efficient animals on the planet. That's how they've managed to survive the last 200 million years, and that's why they are still the apex predator today. So I've got my snorkeling gear on and my flippers over here and we are about to go snorkeling in Green Island so it should be a good time. I'll probably come back drenched but it's all good. So I just got done snorkeling at Green Island. I'm super cold. I get cold really easily so I am in my parka that I wore to Sydney. Yeah, we've got about an hour and 15 minutes of just chill time, so I'll probably read After You by Jojo Moyes. It's the sequel to Me Before You, which I did a book and film review on pretty recently. By the way, um, I'm so glad I got to scuba dive because it has been a dream of mine actually to scuba dive at the Great Barrier Reef ever since I was 14. I had a, a very vivid dream when I was 14 and I was scuba diving. That was good that I got to do it and I didn't chicken out. And yeah, the cool thing is my mum has always loved the beach and the water and Australia and she's actually the reason why we came down here. My traditional name actually means coral. So I got to see coral and I got to see pearl which is what my sister's name means. So it was a really, really beautiful experience and I'm, I'm really glad I got to scoop dive. You can hardly see it though in the... Oh yeah, there it is. So we are leaving the beautiful island of the green. We're leaving this beautiful view. And I'm thinking that the vlog will end here because when I get back I'm going to have lunch and then we're probably going to get ready to head out because our plane is at 5.10 but if, if this is the last time I see you guys until regular videos then thank you for watching thanks for joining me on this journey I have no idea if it's entertaining for you guys um, as I said my first time really vlogging out in public and all that kind of stuff so hopefully it was see you guys later